greetings everybody Joseph Green Mountain Gold Trap this is a business based video intended for the website for those who happen to lose a capture tray back to you in a bit another one that came back to me for repairs another uh, um, I lost my capture tray can you send me another one can't be done it has to be shipped back to me and the customer has to pay the shipping and then it has to be back engineered because it's not the way it's done the capture tray is built before the skid plate and the exit plate get put on before the aluminum rails that hold the exit plate are, are put on so when it comes back to me it, it has to be back engineered and lined up perfectly and fit snug so it's it's an interesting task it can be done but you better be damn good so um, I don't know I don't, I don't understand how people are losing their capture trays it, it's beyond it's beyond me I've never lost one um, but yeah so stuff happens Alright, so here we go. Proper explanation of the difference between building it the right way when it is being put together opposed to back engineering. As you can see, there is, I mean, everything everything is done for the capture tray before, well, basically what you have is the sides and the base all the way down through. Nothing else. No aluminum rails, no skid plate. Um, the foam seal wall isn't even in. All these pieces are made beforehand, the sides and the base and the foam seal wall, and then the holes are drilled and the tube stop plates put on. Um, all that stuff is done before anything else you see right now. So then it can jive and everything fits properly. right? But if I have to do it with the with the skid plate on, these in place pinning it down inside it becomes a real hassle and that's why it's back engineering and trying to get those tubes lined up is uh, it's pretty interesting <laughs> I can do it I've done it but sometimes what happens is is you get one put together and it doesn't quite line up so then you've wasted all that material that would have been used for another build for a new 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 one and then you've got to trash that and start all over again. Generally, I get it first try, but it has happened where it didn't quite line up, and that just doesn't work. You can't go hogging out the holes in the foam seal wall because then you're taking away from your fluidization. So then you just got to ditch what you did and start over again, and it's just a real hassle. And that's why I charge what I charge for the replacement capture trays. Um, it, it takes time out of my regular everyday routine and it takes away from inventory. It also takes away from shipping inventory because then I have to ship it back to you in one of the boxes that it goes in and the whole styrofoam and paper and all that jazz. So just wanted to let you all see 
you know, the way it's supposed to be done, opposed to back engineering one. Um, so that's it. Take care, everybody. see how it's possible but I've had one customer who managed to do that somehow and then claimed it was because of defects well that's just I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry they pull trains with this stuff there's been 18 wheelers uh, bobcat without trailers that have backed up to each other and stuck themselves together with this stuff and did tug of war I, I just I don't know I don't know but this stuff does not come off I mean I could I could stand on this and it wouldn't come off. But anyway, they're pressed. Aluminum is cleaned before that stuff even goes on and they get pressed on. So that's why they don't come apart.
like a glove. Alright folks, that's about a wrap. This one's done. The only thing I have to do now is marine adhesive seal on the back side of this and along the edges. Put it on the curing rack, it's done. This one's heading to California. Can't remember the customer's name, but I'm going to let him know when I ship this that it was used in this video. So, uh, yeah, I thank you all for watching. Um, those of you who are on the website seeing this video, two words, Green Mountain Gold Trap on YouTube. Um, lots of videos out there on the channel where you can see it in action. Um, that's, that's about it. So don't forget to comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. Take care, everybody. I got to finish this so I can go deal with some other stuff. See you.